Yo. Yo, man, where do you usually park? Is there no parking? It's like probably the worst time to go there. I guess on street. We can do that here? Yeah, if there's, if there's space on the street, right in front of the bushes where that homeless dude's chilling. Yeah, that's Oh, hey there. One large burrito, no onion. <laughs> Sorry, it's the beef thing that did it, huh? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back at the river with my man, Bam, right here. So, uh, last video, struggled. Just couldn't get him to bite. Caught two fish all day. But uh, today, I think we're a little bit more prepared. I've got my guide, of course, but the key ingredient for today is got our burritos. Burrito batter. I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens today. We're going minimal today. Only brought three rods. No tackle trunk. Bam, what's the plan? Well, we're gonna be fishing around a lot of wood again, so probably jigs, a little bit of worm actions, crankbait. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's better than the last time, but uh, I'd say the odds are definitely in our favor. We've got the guide, we've got the burritos. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. A tackle box for the day. Bam! Our, dude, I'm just tying up. I'm, I'm tying up. Come on now. Why that happens literally every time I go out. I'm doing something and you're catching. It's all good. I mean, I'll take one, but I'm gonna start with a little six cents swim jig. These are solid swim jigs. Greg's over here talking to his camera, doing video things. He hasn't even tied up yet. I'm getting to what matters, doing some fishing. I was just thinking to myself, like how could a fish ever live under this bridge? Like having that train go over all the time. <laughs> uh, fish must have some hearing uh, issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, some tinnitus at the very least. Should have brought a drop shot, get that thing down there and stay in place. Dude, I'm just going back to my staple. I'm putting a drop shot on. Bam, I'm gonna show you something. It's not all about the Ned rig. Sometimes you got a drop shot. All right. You better not edit that out when you show the video later coming to grab one of these heads from me. <laughs> what are we having a competition? Numbers? Are we having a finesse bait competition? Apparently. Drop shot versus Ned rig. I'm tying this all up. Hopefully I have my drop shot worms. I think I packed them. I just rigged a drop shot up and I don't even think I have a worm. You could use a Ned worm, but that might be cheating for the competition a little bit. You don't have one? Yeah, let me see what I have. Oh, you know what? I got worms. Ooh, I'll give you two options. You can drop shot a two or these worms. Let's see. I don't know. What should we do? It gets it. The Ned rig before there's a Ned rig. Can I hold on to both of them? Ah, uh, you know what? What am I doing? This is a stupid rig. I put a weedless hook on for a reason. Just a little verbal update here. We're a mere 30 yards from Greg Blanchard, the one and only Greg Blanchard. We're about 15 minutes into the fishing day. I've got one, and I missed a bite, and he is still yet to tie up a bait. A weedless drop shot. Should do the trick. <laughs> Come on now. Pretty fish though. It's cool up here too. These fish are like perfect, you know? They don't have all the nasty stuff the rest of the delta fish have. Ned rig two to nil. <laughs> Jeez, now you're trying to beat my kayak up. Sometimes just casting the bait out and then doing something else besides fishing gets you the bite. Uh, one of them was, yeah. See, this is the bad thing about fishing with a bam. He just embarrasses you. Yeah, chunky one. Nice. Man, they're cool looking fish. I think I might have to switch to the Ned. <laughs> <laughs> Deja vu. You said you haven't seen these before. Giant Ned. Giant Ned? Oh my gosh. The biggest Ned I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we're just gonna say you won the competition already because I'm already <laughs> switching to the Ned. Yeah. 
Oh, he was on there for days. Yep. They're on uh, sitting in the tops of the trees. He's really good at fishing off of his graph too, man. Ooh, that was a hard bite. Is he there? Oh shit. Oh, Th that was a big fish, dude. Oh shizzle, I mean. <laughs> Dang it, dude. That was, I don't, how did he come off? Dude, he smoked it and put like 10 feet of slack in my line. 10 feet of slack in my line. Notice how I'm creeping towards you. See that? <laughs> yeah, smart. <laughs> now that's the Greg Blanchard I know. <laughs> All right, here, I know what to do. Starting to wise up. All right, here's the answer. That's so good, dude. <laughs> Finally, finally on the board. Just had to use Bam's equipment. Another large mouth. It's a large mouth kind of day. Ah. It's grabbing the end of it, I guess. Decent one. Yeah. He's stuck on a log, I think. I think that was six or seven. Uh, same deal as the other day, man. I'm just kind of letting it chill there and just like looking around. And I'll just like look back, my line's moving. Sometimes that's just the way. Like, I don't know, here in like a month, it's gonna be all about chatter baits and crank baits and all that fun stuff. But for now, this is kind of what you gotta do. There we go, we got a spot on the board. <sighs> Hopefully your camera's on. Yeah. A little spotted bass. Thank you, sir. I was just messing on my phone. You're right. This is probably what's been tapping me. The phone pattern. This is all gonna come back to haunt me. I know, all your secrets revealed. <laughs> now come tournament time, just everybody's gonna be slamming burritos in the morning. How many burritos do you think you have a week? Probably like three or four a week. It's everything packed into one. Lots of carbs to keep me energized throughout the day. It's a big spot, dude. About that big. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude, that's a fat spot. That's cool. You don't go, go don't have to go to the reservoirs to find big fat spots. You can stay on the deltas. Dude, that's a nice yeah. nice delta spot right there. That's cool. Cool. Large mouth. I'm with the chatter master himself. I gotta try the chatter. Ooh. It worked. Chatter. Not a big one. It hit like he was a lot bigger. I think that one was hiding in those pilings. As soon as it like went past one, it kind of like ticked one and fish came up and got it. Severe chokage. Bye bye, Ned Rig. Bye bye. Man. Another largey. A little bit longer one. Yeah, cool colors. It's all wrapped up around a log and had a fish on the other end. <laughs> well, he's not that bad. Decent largey. Yeah, that's a three pounder. Nice. 
And he's got like a hole in its side. Nicer fish. Three pound largemouth, three pound spot. Now where's the five pounder? Oh shit. Holy. Something big. Something big. It's gotta be a striper. Oh no, it's just a good sized bass. Bigger than that. Bigger, but not by much. That was crazy, dude. That was such a hard pulling fish. <laughs> That's crazy. Woo! <laughs> you gonna pull a Blanchard on me? That's like an 18 and a half, 19. Finally. <laughs> Ah, and there's the smallmouth. Right on. Here we go. Three species on the delta. Largemouth, the spot. Now the smallie. Bam catches the three pounders. I catch the two pounders. Oh man. Oh, feel bad about that one. Finally, golly, that's a pretty one, real pretty one. This little guy. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> Alrighty. Folks, that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the fish catching. This dude obviously caught a lot more than me, and uh, you are you are quite good with that little Ned rig. Spent a lot of time with it. Yeah, you want to talk about uh, exactly your setup because I think probably the viewers are more interested in your setup versus my setup. All right. Yeah, I mean, so starting with uh, you know the rod, of course, is important. I use Guru rods, obviously, my rods, um, a medium light finesse rod, just like you would with a drop shot or anything else, typically with a light wire hook. Um, today I was just throwing the four inch TRD in green pumpkin, it's like the only color I really mess with. And I was using a uh, Ned head that's by Foolery Fishing, a guy named Andy Rao. It's an EWG style, perfect for when you're fishing around cover. Um, in lakes, I go with the exposed hook, but yeah, for out here, that's perfect. Just letting that thing sit for that too. Yeah, just soaking it and, uh, you know, you move it a little bit, and when you move it, you just want to move it a couple inches at a time, anything more than that. Um, it just uh, comes too far off the bottom, I think. That was the deal today. That was certainly the deal. Oh, and we forgot to talk about the burrito. Of course. Burrito pattern comes in clutch again. <laughs> Hey, it didn't hurt us, we'll say that. But anyways, that is the video for today, guys. Thank you for coming along. Thanks to this dude right here for, once again, giving me a bait and uh, putting me on fish. So hopefully he'll uh, join me in some more videos. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.